Hi everybody, this is Tom Lipscomb here and I want to do a quick training session on how to put the big blue button video conference into your Moodle class. So what we want to do now is I'm going to go into one of my classes and I'm going to go into the photojournalism class and what you're going to do after you turn the editing on is you're going to find a week where you can put that big blue button in. And uh, the usefulness of this is you can use it so that people who can't be in the classroom can join you and present from their computer. They can observe from their phone. If you had snow days, that would be a way to conduct class where you were. I know this would be kind of disappointing to students when it all moves in that direction. If you have people that, for whatever reason, can't get childcare and want to be a part of the class, and if you have people that miss class and you want to have it recorded, all these are really good uses for the big blue button, and I'm sure you could think of some other really useful ways to utilize this in your work. So if I do this now to add an activity and resource, I'm going to add the big blue button. And what I want to say is, is that looks like its name. What I want to say is that we're using now the Google Chrome interface because that might create less problems. Okay, so I'm going to say the virtual classroom name. That's just what you want to name your session. I'm going to call this lesson on shutter speed. Having to do with uh, photography techniques. Send, you can send notifications that will get to people's emails. I think the app also, the Moodle app also. So what we're going to do now, this right here is the tricky, tricky area. So I want to check a couple other things first. So we can send a welcome message. Here is your lesson on camera shutter speed. Welcome. Again, whatever you want this to be. And then what you want to do is this right here, recording settings. I think we're going to kind of leave those as they are because there's really no options. Participants, this is the really key part. So the very first thing, all users enrolled, you want to add them. You have to hit this add button. And that creates a list down here. But if you don't do this one other thing, then you'll end up being put into this session without being able to be a moderator, without being able to access those features. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the role of course creator, you, or the role of teacher, you. You're going to add that as a moderator. Again, that's going to give you more privileges in running this virtual discussion. Schedule for a session. You can just kind of leave it up and running, or you can set exact times. Oh, and up above here, you can also click this if you wanted everybody to kind of wait for you before they go in there. But you might want them to kind of go in to the room before you get there. They might want to talk to each other a little bit before you actually join the class, just like if they were coming into your regular classroom and talking about the day. And I believe this is all all that um, you need to worry with. Under activity completion, you can have them mark it or you could have them be judged by having to view this activity to, to complete it. Um, either way, you want to set that up. And that depends on whether a checklist will show up for them to mark or for it to mark automatically. And I think why you might use this to where they had to go on for it to check would be a case as if, if you wanted people to go back and watch the lesson as a required thing. Okay, so we're now going to save and return to course. We're going to go back in and see this where it lives in our course. I'm going to move it out of the bonus area. And now what I want to do is just go inside. Okay, and I'm going to join the session. This is where it's going to give me some tests. I want to test that microphone. I'm going to allow it to use the microphone. And then it's going to test the sound for me. Do I hear the sound? Yeah, I absolutely do. So, yes. 
It's telling me now who is in the conference. So here is the thing that you can do. This, this first page is the first page of slides, and it kind of shows you just a list of all of the options that you have. And you can do things across this area, text lines, um, shapes, or just writing down words. But how you do it is, is that these things go from slide one to slide two, slide three, or you can write on it. And you can also use these tools to kind of, to kind of, let's see. I'm trying to get this to write some uh, written text on it. Yeah, there you go. Set up a text box. So you could do all of this here. This is pretty cool, right? In demo mode. Uh, you also have the ability to share your screen. I'm going to open up the Keynote feature on this. And just give me a second to pull up a recent Keynote. Okay, so here is a... Uh, this won't have anything to do with this class, but here is a radio keynote I have for another class. So if you want to hear while you're presenting, you can go in and share your screen. And then you can pull, okay, I want to do this particular application. And then everybody in the room now is looking at this keynote or PowerPoint project that you've set up or some other thing that you want to display for the class. Very similar to how Google Hangouts works. So now what I want to do is I want to stop and go back. Another feature is right now the webcam is off, but you can share that webcam. And then it's just going to, once I allow it, it's going to pop my face up. And you can see everybody else's as well. Okay. Now... There I am. Now, of course, I'm right in front of a window, so this isn't the best look if you were doing this in an actual real classroom. So these are some of the features. And I want to show you one other cool thing before we end this lesson. Over here, this thing that says actions, this is only something that the moderator can do. So if you pull your thing up and you don't have this, this little actions button, then uh, that means that you need to go back into your settings and add yourself as a moderator. Again, this is really the most confusing part of the setup of the big blue button. So now I'm going to take this action piece and I want to start a poll. You see there's things you can upload. And then you can create questions and then you can provide yes no questions to your people and the answers will show up right here so you could say you know what's your level of understanding one two three four five five being the most and your class can tell you as you go how much they understand things you can ask questions about the material um, and then this is another way of kind of keeping everybody engaged as you go through the whole class process and then when you want to show the results you'll hit publish obviously nothing here since I'm the only one in the room and it's going to show me with that little symbol over there indicating that I'm the moderator. And the other students will kind of line up in below. So that's it for this lesson. I appreciate you joining us. And feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the Moodle platform. You can reach me by email at tlipscomb at bennett.edu.